Hello again from my kitchen here on Tasty Thursday. Today we're going to do something that my husband really loves, but then he loves most things. This is our red lentil and walnut risol. They're great, they're wholesome. It's not a quick and easy recipe, but it's worth the trouble. And they freeze well, so my philosophy is if I'm making something, I've already got all the ingredients, I may as well make a lot and freeze it and then I've always got them. So come with me and we'll start. I've prepared my, my fry pan, invest in a fry pan. It really makes life easy, particularly if you're cooking in large quantities. So I've put some olive oil um, into my fry pan and a lot of this is going to be done in the fry pan. So we're just going to put out a medium onion, although I like lots of onion. And we're going to add um, a teaspoon of garlic. I, I use garlic paste today, but really nothing beats fresh garlic. So we're just going to saute that a little bit until it's a little bit brown. To which we're going to add one grated zucchini and one grated carrot. This recipe is great for um, a dinner and can be served with a tomato stew on, some, on a bit of rice fat. Brown that a little bit. If you don't have to it, it's absolutely brown. Translucent. To which you so add your carrots, grated carrots, and your zucchini all at once. I'm just going to let that cook a little bit until it's, it's tender. Both the reason I we, we love cooking. And um, I, I have found in the COVID period that I've spent a lot of time in my kitchen. And I almost find it a distress. I know that that's not everybody's experience. Um, but we just wish we just wish that all these recipes that we be sharing with you will bring bring you joy and will get, help you feed the family. This recipe is good, it's an absolutely vegan recipe. So for those of you who don't take eggs and cheese. This is really a lovely option. So we just let that simmer a little bit. To which I'm going to add my spices, and it's not very many spices in this recipe. It's really just um, a teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of cumin. Once upon a time, an Indian lady told me that when you fry all those spices, it reduces more of its flavor. So that's what I'm doing here on the side. That's why it's good to use a fry pan and enough room to do all of that. And another thing to flavor this, this um, dish is um, a stock cube. This is the, the basil vegetarian um, chicken stock. Break up the little pieces and this gives it a lovely, a lovely flavor. I really can, can smell something cooking. Get some water handy, and I just pop up a little, pop it up in a little water so that it can cook it through. Once the, the carrots and the zucchini are thoroughly mixed through with the spices and cooked a little bit, we add just one cup of red lentils. I think that red lentils get my number one vote for the most versatile um, legume there is. It can be curried, it, you can make results like we're doing today, it can be made into soup. This is a wonderful thing. And now we're going to, when we have to leave that a little bit, and we have to add water periodically, just a little bit, so that, and leave it to cook, stirring, stirring regularly, until our red lentils are thoroughly. So we'll just pop the lid on for a while, and we can, Go and do something else. All right, so let's just check up on our, how the red lentils are doing. All right, so you can see it's not it's not done yet. So what we need to do is keep just keep topping up the water. It's enough because we want the the red lentils to be cooked. And what by doing this, I mean you could possibly do the lentils, um, cook the lentils separately uh, to expedite matters, but this way it takes on all the flavors, it cooks in that in the spices, so it does 
make a difference to the flavor of the, of the patty. And you can see it's starting to increase in, increase in volume. So just another few, more, few minutes. I will add some, keep adding the water. And you want to cook it till it's a little bit dry. Okay, you will just give it a few more moments. Alright, I think it's time to check on check up on the red lentils. You would have had to, to check on it a few times and top it up with a little water just to make sure that the red lentil is actually is cooked. When we eventually comb the, the rissole, we won't have to spend a lot of time cooking it because it will be all be cooked. So that's good. So this is probably the longest process. From here, we transfer this into um, a big mixing bowl. Now you have to have one of these stainless steel bowls for the success of this recipe. I'm just kidding. Any bowl will do. I just used to do a lot of catering and so my bowls are not small. So all you need to do is transfer that into a bowl. And to that, we get to add some fresh parsley. This is fresh from the Reese's garden. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the color. There's just something about fresh, fresh herbs. To that, we, have, we add a quart, a, a half a cup of chopped walnuts. Mix that through thoroughly. And the last ingredient for the day is four slices of um, fresh bread crumbs. Now, you, you can obviously use bread of your choice. I've just used wholemeal bread, trying to make um, smart choices. Mix that through. Immediately you see the breadcrumbs absorbing all the moisture and it's coming together because this, this result doesn't have flour or eggs to bind. And as you can see, it's already forming into a nice mixture. Okay, so you can either use your hand or use a spoon for the purpose of the video i'll use a spoon <laughs> ice cream scoop is good and um it's quite a soft mixture and um you just need to form it okay the secret is you you can leave it cool before you handle it and there you have your result and we will dip it dip them in into breadcrumbs We'll show you that in the next step. I'm going to use my hand. There we have, we have them there. A few inches later. All right, so there we have our results neatly formed, and they they really formed very well. Uh, once the the, the mixture is cooled, it's easy to handle. It's coagulated, and you just dip it in breadcrumbs. You don't ha you don't have to first do it in an um, egg. Now we just going to pop them straight into our fry pan and that's, that's a bit hot. Turn that down. And the beauty of a fry pan is that you can fry them all at you can fry them simultaneously. So listen, I just want to remind you Breville has not sponsored this, but I would get a Breville uh, fry pan. We've got 20 um, results all at the same time. They don't have to stay in there long. You just need to brown them, um, brown the, the crumbs, because everything else is cooked. Doesn't that look yummy? And there you have it. Red lentil and all my results. Bon appetit.